Hello everyone and welcome back to my European Space Agency RP-1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video we are going to try to land a Kerbal on the moon and bring them back safely to Earth. And so without further ado, we are launching. We'll have shoot and EVA and everything. And hope for the best, I suppose. Okay, here we go. SAS on. Throttle up. And... Ignition. That looks like all of them. And go. And Mohammed and Sarolta. I, 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 I'm gonna go with Mohammed's first name and Sarolta's last name just for safety's sake as far as pronunciation is concerned. But they are off and away. I'm going through the clouds. We're past the speed of sound. Okay, G-Force mitigation time. Well, there's two of them. Eventually they'll be able to do these. So ion sensing, night image intensification, synoptic weather or something or another is what we've got. Okay, booster set. There's some overheating. I don't know why there's overheating. That's the docking port up front. I guess we're shallower or something. Well, anyway, uh, launch escape system jettison. Huh. That's excessively peculiar. Um, where are you doing docking port? That is you. Hmm. I really don't want to see any overheating today. No, well, now it's gone. But still. Ominous. Okay, shut off so that that deorbits separation. Oh, I thought we had fixed that problem. Ugh. Well, now it's gotta be fixed. Okay, that's good enough. I don't know, one of the Kerbals must weigh more or something. Uh, three days is not bad. Well, there's a lander. For this, that should definitely be the target. Ah, oh, that's a good inclination right there. A little bit out of phase, but we'll get them both into circular orbits so it's easier. Oh, there's the west coast of Mexico and the Gulf of California. Okay, settling fuel down. And go. All three have lit. I guess Sorolto will be the one going to the surface. Oh no! Do they have lander training? Um, I completely forgot. Gosh darn it. RP-1, please tell me one of them has the lander training. No, just mission training for Apollo. No! All our lander trained people... <laughs> our lander trained people... were... retired. They retired. Ah, uh, it doesn't even take any time. <laughs> Okay, well, let's make sure everybody else is gonna get... Oh, uh, well, we have to wait until they finish their existing training. Okay, well, Barbell should get the lander train. Gosh darn it. I knew I forgot something. Stupid one zero second training. Does that prevent them from getting into the pod? Because it's got a controller on it. On the bright side, they should be doing science. No matter what happens, we are getting science here. And that's good enough for now. RCS. Pretty good alignment. Okay. 
Well, we are on our way. Uh, we don't really need this stage anymore, but we'll use its RCS to turn. Okay, we are in Lunar SOI. They should already be doing... Well, all that stuff is low over, so they aren't actually doing anything. Only the TV broadcast was high over. Okay, well, we might as well get... Uh, Inclination correction in with the capture burn. That's pretty darn good right there. Well, that's still 200 meters per second. Yeah, it's better, probably better to get them both in a low orbit. Let's not do that. Well, while I have this stage, I guess I'll use its 54 meters per second if we can. Okay, selling fuel down. Ignition. Staging. Oh, still in. I thought we had fixed all the insufficient avionics things, but. Got me again. Okay, okay, the periapsis is getting a little bit low there. Okay, we'll touch that up. And we'll probably do it without this engine. But actually first I want to bring the lunar lander down. Well, actually it'll, it'll be good for phasing. Gotta lift our periapsis up a bit. It got a little bit of control there. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the lander. Uh, this is not the lander. I clicked on the lander and said switch to, and boy, was that not the lander. Now I'm confused and worried. Of course. That is not a view I normally see. Okay, now we're at the lander. Let's deliberately go down first. Okay, ignition. Up, oh, wrong thing. Okay, we'll leave this here. And we'll hop back to the pod. Well, let's spin up and everything. Hop back to the Mark 1 3 command pod and have it do some stuff. Probably we're looking to land over here at this point. Well, we got night image intensification in moon space low. Okay, we've got within render range. We'll have the lander do the rest once we get there, which is 23 meters per second. And that's because the lander is in the higher orbit right now. Okay, we've entered render range. Here is the lander. Okay, and ignition. And we'll need another ignition. I do love infinite ignition engines. And that's probably good enough right there. Let's get closer. Okay, slowing down. There it is. Okay, let's just point at the target for a bit. It'll rotation. And the target should point at the lander. Can we target the docking port at all? We go from here. No, let's make sure this is controlling from here. And everything should be all right. So, negative parallel. 
And we're heading in. I will obey the propellant onlyness of the docking port and try to EVA our Kerbal across. Okay, we have docked. Oh, but we have insufficient avionics while docked. That's a point. <laughs> it's fine. We're not going to do any burns like this. Okay, EVA. All right. So far, so good. Nitrogen depletes pretty quickly as an EVA propellant. Okay, grab, board. It let me board. Okay. Okay. Well, that, that's all we need, really, right? Undock. Okay, mom, it is in there. I guess it's okay. Maybe. Sarolta is in here. I don't know, maybe the zero time training is just in case something weird happens. Oh, I didn't quite account for the fact that Sarolta, Sarolta's mass is going to diminish our delta V. That's an interesting wrinkle, but it still should be enough. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to hop to it. We'll try and land over here. Okay, I'm going to set up the initial descent. We appear to have control for now. The Mark 1-3 pod is right there. Good to keep an eye on it so we don't bump into it or something. Okay. Ignition. And I think that's basically the path that I want. And we don't have to be picky or anything. There goes the pod. We have a direct line back. I mean, we had pretty good comms on the dark side of the moon as well. Okay, the tough part. Good thing we have lots of ignitions. I'm gonna use... Well, I have to use them quite liberally. So this stage needs 9 minutes and then we need some more to touch down. So about 11 minutes. I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead, I think. So, surface negative. And ignition. Can't really trust the suicide burn countdown on this sort of thing. But... I'm not gonna let it go too far off. They did pitch up like this during the Apollo landing too, so... Okay, that's... I don't want that suicide burn countdown going any worse than it is. Okay, we are about halfway through the burn as far as Delta V is concerned and we are still go for landing. Uh, there's a bunch of boulders around here. That's not good. Stretches pretty far out there. Well, as we finish up, I would like some extra seconds on that suicide burn countdown. Well, the thrust weight ratio that we're picking up with is not too bad. Okay. And staging. Staging? <laughs> Don't mess with me, game. Uh-oh. It says it's negative. Don't be negative. Guess we're coming down here. Oh, explosions. More explosions. Hmm. 
Okay, mostly interested in the horizontal speed there for a sec. But now, the final bit. I'm trying to zero that horizontal speed, but I think that's as good as I'm going to get. Okay. Okay, we are down. Whew. Okay. Planting flag time. Uh, no, ladder. Uh. Okay. EVA. They didn't ask me whether I wanted a pack of flag. Okay, but she automatically comes with one. Not the shoot, not the EVA pack. Those we have to specify. But flag planting, definite. Okay. Wait. Yes, uh, I don't know what biome it is. The moon, well, moon one. Sarolta has claimed the moon in the name of ah that's name name of Tessa I guess <laughs> I don't know I'm not good at these things okay EV report do I look like Neil Armstrong to you no I don't know if I want to leave her out there for two and a half hours. I mean, we might not be at this biome again, so. Okay, well, I got the whole sample. Well, Sorolta got the whole sample. Very brave of her under the circumstances. Okay, grab. Board. Okay, I was also afraid that it would not let me board right here. I mean, as weird as that would, might be, you know. Okay, mission BA. That is target. We probably don't need to launch until it's closer. Well, we transmitted the EVA report. That's probably pretty good. Okay. RCS on. Bottle up. Well, I should probably have SAS. Okay, kill rotation is fine in this case. Um, heading. Well, let's set the pitch that. Heading 106, I think. We've got actually quite a lot of delta V for this. About what the actual lunar module had. Saturn in front of us. Yeah, that's good enough on inclinations for now. It seems like it's slowing down the correction and it'd be a little bit off anyway. Oh, but we don't want it to get more off. Everything looking pretty good overall. Alright, we should probably just pitch down now. We've been getting a better closest approach distance, but we do actually have to get a good orbit. So we'll have to sacrifice some of that. I guess we could coast a bit. There's no harm in that since they are guaranteed to reignite. Ignition. Okay, well, do we want to be in higher orbit or lower orbit? Oh, we're in front. 
So actually, a uh, higher orbit would be better. That's pretty good. All right, and then we'll lift our periapsis up on this side. We definitely want the rendezvous on that side. We're gonna, since we can, we're gonna do a correction here. 442 meters per second left, so no real problems. 0.3 kilometers. Well, that's what I like to see. I'm just going to shut off all but the center engine. And ignition. Well, that's the 0.3 kilometers. Okay. Okay, we have entered render range. There's Earth. And there's the pod. The pod and Earth. Now we had the super powerful RCS on this just to make sure we didn't have to deal with any weird thrust imbalance down there. But they might be really powerful when we come into dock, so. This will definitely be just holding steady. Okay, yeah, just uh, point at the target. That <laughs> is, the thrusters are just throwing everything off anyway. Okay, to the pod. I didn't ask you to do any roll thing. Hmm. It is, uh... Yeah, curious idea of where to control from there that I did not understand at all. <laughs> I'm going like, why are you controlling from your side? I guess it was the hatch, but that really doesn't make much sense. Oh, what? I thought it said kill rotation to that thing. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. That makes us close too quickly. Okay, hold on. You kill rotation, don't do anything else, okay? Okay, we have docked. All right. Uh, hatches over there. All right, Sorolta. Didn't replenish the nitrogen at all. But okay, we should still have enough. A grab board. All right. It has the land on the moon and planet flag com uh, check marks there. Gotta make sure of that. Okay. Time to go home. No, well, that's about the usual. And we are well within our capabilities. Actually, before we depart the lander, I'm going to rename it Lunar Lander Depleted. But we could use it just uh, for some other... I mean, it's got 412 and it's got food, water, and oxygen, and we could use the tug with it, so we're not going to impact it with the surface just yet. We're not working with Principia or anything. We don't have any of the mass concentrations to worry about. I did double check the fuel priority. It seems like the pods topped up still. Okay. And ignition. For the journey home. The voyage home. Just that dangerous last bit that we have to worry about. Okay, five days, ten hours. That's not so bad. Sixty kilometers per usual, and we have two seventy left. And if we use the hydrolox more, Earth again. Then we'll do a little bit of mitigation here. We'll use the hydrolox a little bit. At this point, if we're just on battery, it should be fine. So, 
the main thing is to make sure our periapsis stays happy. And ignition. Okay, that's probably enough of that one. Okay, we're back to 60 kilometer periapsis, just a little bit slower, and we'll leave it there. Service module jettison time and parachute. Oh, why doesn't it show both? Arm. Arm. Okay, service module set. Got some islands. Is that Hawaii? That's Hawaii. We're right over Hawaii. Descent mode confirmed off. I don't really need roll zero, but... Why is it not pointing at it properly? Come on. Okay, hold on, folks. Service module destruction has occurred. 70 kilometers, 10,000 meters per second. 60 kilometers, 8,600 meters per second. And we are certainly coming straight down. We are very suborbital. 50 kilometers, 4,600 meters per second. Pretty constant g-force. Okay, and we are out of the thick of it. We're currently here-ish. Not super close to anything, but not the worst. Okay, both parachutes have deployed. And we are drifting down at 6-ish meters, well, okay, 7-ish meters per second. Sample is a little bit heavy or something. Well, we have, I think we have an extra Kerbal and that's why. Now it's a little bit less. Okay, and re yeah, recover, normal recovery. That is a weird coincidence. It's July 4th, 2012. If you remember, it was July 4th, 2010 when we had the previous mission, the successful one returning back from the moon. It took us a while to get them all trained and everything. It's taking an awful long time to load the screen. <laughs> I'm very suspicious. Come on, don't play any tricks game. Okay, that's a lot to look at. So we got some synoptic weather photography, but not all of it. But that's fine, the other missions have some too. But retirement, Mohammed, 2022, that's fine. Sarolta will wait until 2025. First landing on the moon, actually, they, they tend to retire pretty quickly after that, after the world tour and everything. But anyway, we've got 15,600 funds, and they've got their experience. Mohammed didn't get any extra. Sarolta got all the new stuff. I'm surprised we didn't get a whole lot extra confidence from that, but okay. Well, it was sort of amazing that that worked on the first try as far as landing was concerned. I tried to be very conservative about that. And we're going to have to do targeted landings in the future, so probably best that I gave the lander some extra. That's the capstone mission. We have to do it twice, and we'll pick that up. So there will be more lunar landings. I feel bad about not getting to save Yonix, so we'll just research it. And we'll get effective space planes. Not because there's anything there, but... Well, in our future, who knows. 
Anyway, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.